Hey friends, hope you're doing fine. In today's video, I'd like to show you one important uh, aspect in the Power Query Editor, which allows us to import data also if the data structure changes quite easily and more easier than in the former and prior versions. So let me show you what I mean. Uh, by the way, the point which I'm trying to make is it's regarding to the pivoting and unpivoting uh, feature in Power BI Desktop. So let's say I want to import some data. I go to Excel in my case, and then I choose my weeks file. Click on open, and then I would see a file in here. Just a second, there's navigator, my table, which simply contains of various persons in here, and I got some weeks. And you see that this data as a table is pivoted. Pivoted meaning I have here my weeks in various columns, and then I have my data in here. And we all know that this is a structure which is not very good for Power BI, for data analysis, what we want instead is we want to unpivot this data, meaning we want to have all the headers, all the weeks here in one column and all the values in the second column. So to do this, we can simply go to transform and then we just wait. Okay, and here we go. And then we can simply say, okay, I want to unpivot now those three weeks. Now we have two options here. We can either select the three weeks in here and then we go to transform and say we want to unpivot columns. This would be one way to do it. So if I click this, you'll see that Power BI uses a function which is unpivot other columns. And that's the main point I want to uh, want to say here, want to point out. Because um, with this new, or with this function, instead of uh, pivoting functions and then hard coding the, the column names, it's, it's way better solved now because it allows us to change the table, meaning we can add additional weeks and still the unpivoting works because it's regarding to the columns we want to keep, meaning the person column, which you can see in here. And this is the same behavior as if I remove this step, let me just go back. When we start here and say we select the first one and go to unpivot columns and click here and say unpivot other columns. So if I take this option, you see exactly the same, unpivot other columns and still person column is fixed, meaning this is the column we don't want to pivot, or in this case, unpivot. And this is now the same behavior for unpivot the columns and selecting the columns you want to unpivot or selecting the column you don't want to pivot or unpivot and then click on unpivot other columns. This was not the case in the past, but now this is uh, here in Power Query solved like that, which is the better option. So it's great that Microsoft actually uh, changed this behavior because now you can see I got my attributes, I got my values in here, and I got all the weeks in here. And then I can go to home and then I can say, okay, that's the data type, that's fine. That's the attribute, that's fine. I click on close and apply. Let me tick this option here. And then I can actually here take a look at my field list. Um, just a second until the table is loaded. So now it's there and now I can go to table. I can say, okay, show me the person, uh, show me uh, the attribute, which would be the weeks in here. And then show me simply the value in here now, like that. So that's totally fine. And now if I go to uh, here, for instance, my Excel file, and then say I want to add an additional week, let's say this is week uh, week number four, and this is just uh, 10, 10, and 10. This, for instance, uh, let's, do, let's do this, let's save this, and let's go back to um, Power BI. And now we're here, and then we can simply go to uh, refresh. If I click on refresh here, let's just wait a second. And here I got an issue. Why is that? This is simply because of the data type properly. So let me just uh, go to, uh, where is it? Uh, my transform data. And then we just check that because the unpivoting works fine. So let me just refresh here and you see that the unpivoting works fine. The issue just is the, the value here, which is currently not set correctly. Let me go to the correct data type. So let me click on, uh, let's say this whole number in here. And if I look, close and apply again, you'll see that now the visual is fixed. But the main point is really that you see that the data itself, um, works exactly the same way, even though we modified here the Excel file by adding an additional week or weeks, could be several weeks as well. Okay, so that's a very important fact that uh, no matter whether you unpivot the selected columns or you unpivot the, the other columns, both work the same way under the hood. They use the same Power Query function and this allows us then to do the transformation and you see that you don't have to then uh, manually adjust everything in your Power Query steps, okay? So that's it for this video. Hopefully that was interesting. Again, also please try it out yourself. And always, if you like the video, please give it a thumbs up. 
and also please uh, subscribe to the channel. Thanks a lot and take care and hopefully see you in the next video. Until then, best guys.